Hi, NAFQ members. I'm Carrie Hunt, NAFQ Senior Vice President of Government Affairs and General Counsel. And I'm here today to give you a brief update on all things advocacy here in Washington, D.C. Congress may be on their summer break, but NAFQ is busy prepping for our Congressional Caucus in September. We're excited that our members and friends are coming to Washington to advocate for key credit union pieces of legislation, including the Risk-Based Capital II study and also data security legislation. We also are expect to have a robust dialogue with legislators on all things regulatory relief, and there are a number of legislative bills and pieces of legislation that we hope to see some movement here in the fall. We need as many voices as possible to help move the dial and get these bills passed, and that will help you serve your members better. And we are also excited to build on the momentum um, and interest in Congress on credit union issues that emerged from the hearing with NCUA Chairman Debbie Matz and push for even more credit union relief. Uh, I want to take a few minutes and talk about an important issue, and that is member business lending. Of course, we continue to support bills to lift the member business lending cap in Congress, um, but there's important action being done on the regulatory side on this issue as well. NCUA's comment period for their changes to member business lending rules is fast approaching, and NAFQ has provided talking points on this proposal on our website. Um, while this rule is not perfect, NCOA has taken real steps to provide relief, and we urge you to send in your comments to the agency, um, even if you're just contemplating starting a member business lending program. Uh, the bankers have started a letter writing campaign opposing the proposal that NCUA has issued. And while NAFQ has been countering those inaccuracies, we need credit unions to voice their support as well. Policymakers are listening to credit unions at the, at the regulators and on Capitol Hill, and we really need to seize this moment. Also on the regulatory side, we expect a heavy regulatory agenda on many different fronts. Um, first, let me mention a few compliance issues. You may have seen that the Department of Defense amended its regulation implementing the Military Lending Act. Among other protections for members of the armed services and their families, the Military Lending Act limits the amount of interest that a creditor may charge on consumer credit, establishing a military annual percentage rate of 36%. The Department of Defense final rule has expanded the Military Lending Act definition of consumer credit in order to cover a broader range of closed-end and open-end credit products. And in general, consumer credit covered in the amended member li Military Lending Act regulation is largely consistent with the class of financial projects subject to the disclosure requirements in the Truth in Lending Act and Regulation Z. I wanted to mention um, this final rule because it's something that has not been on some credit unions' radar, but it does impact every credit union um, potentially if you are serving a covered borrower under the Act. NAFQ has issued a final regulation on this, and we urge you to take a look at that. The regulation goes into effect October 1. Um, compliance is not required until next year of October 3, but again, it's always very helpful to start preparing for these changes. Also this fall, credit unions have to be in compliance with the new changes to TILA RESPA and all of those disclosures. Originally, as you know, that compliance date was here at the end of August. Uh, that got pushed. Um, to October, um, and credit unions are finalizing their compliance with that proposal. Even um, past the compliance deadline, we still expect the CFPB and the NCUA to take good faith compliance efforts into account during the examination process, um, and that is certainly a positive thing. Um, also relative to the CFPB, they continue um, to use enforcement actions to regulate especially under their unfair deceptive practices authority. Um, even if you're not examined by the CAPB, we really do urge you to look at all of their varied enforcement actions because it certainly gives a good window into how um, the agency works and what areas um, potentially could cause landmines down the road. 
Um, also coming out of the CAPB, we expect the Home Mortgage Disclosure Act um, proposal to be finalized, much unfortunately as it um, originally was proposed, so credit unions will have new reporting requirements. Um, but on a positive note, NCOA's fixed asset rule will also become effective in the upcoming months, which will provide credit unions with a small measure of relief. On the litigation front, NAFQ continues to monitor and track litigation relative to data security breaches, something that we know is very important and of interest to you, our members, as well. As always, NAFQ um, has our feet to the ground and are busy um, both on Capitol Hill and with the regulators. Um, we work for you, and if you ever need anything, send me an email, chun at nafq.org. Thanks.